when it comes to HIV transmission and uh, acquiring the infection, we have three drugs that you really need to know. The first one is PrEP. It's a new addition. It's, uh, I think, two to three years old. In case maybe you are anticipating to get exposed to HIV infection, start taking that drug before you get exposed and it will protect you from getting that infection. Now, the second drug that you definitely need to know is PEP, post-exposure prophylaxis. This one is after you've been exposed. Take for example, you've been raped by someone maybe known to have HIV or someone who disappeared and you can't be able to trace them. Uh, or maybe a healthcare worker that had uh, a needle prick in, in the CCC or m when they were doing the viral load or something of that sort. What will happen here? You take those drugs, you usually go all the way. It's a dose that usually take 28 days. You swallow them on a daily basis all the way. So they will prevent any virus from attaching itself into the CD4 cells in the body and thereby not establishing any infection. So what will happen is you're not going to get that infection despite you being exposed. And you do this before uh, 72 hours are over. The earlier, the better. The third set of drugs is antiretroviral drugs. And um, this is after you've been confirmed to be infected by HIV. If you already have that infection, you're given these drugs to always make sure that the replication of HIV in your system is inhibited to a point where it doesn't actually bother you. So you take these drugs to keep HIV in check and always make sure that your immunity is as good as a normal person. 